In this video I want to show you how to use GPU transition effects as replacement for the layouter. So as replacement for this tool. And there are several reasons why this can be interesting. For a demonstration I have already prepared a little animation with the layouter. I have two pictures here. And one is being animated with the layouter to move from right to left over the screen. Just take a look into the layouter settings and you see there are keyframes at the beginning and keyframes at the end so that as a result there is this movement. And the problem with creating such animations with the layouter is that trimming of such animated clips is very tricky. So if I shorten the clip, you see that the animation isn't scaled automatically with my trimming and the clip just disappears in the middle of the animation. And to reposition the keyframes, I have to go into the layouter and you see I just uh, have to take the keyframes manually and move them to the new position. In my case, this example animation is very simple and repositioning of the keyframes is very simple, but I think you can imagine with more complex animations, this can be very annoying. And this is one of the reasons why it can be very beneficial to use GPU effects instead. And I want to show you how. At first I want to reset the layouter. Now I go to my effect library, category transitions, category GPU. And there you have to look for the advanced category. And here in the advanced category we find two effects that can be used as a replacement for the layouter. First one is transform and second one is transform2. I will use transform first. I will zoom in a little bit. And I place the GPU effect here at the beginning of the clip. At first you see there is no result. The overlay picture is just completely invisible. At first I want to change this. I go into the transform settings. I make this window a little bit bigger. And here in the parameter tab I have to switch to picture B. Now I can see my picture. I reposition this. Next one I go into transform and here you can see just the same parameters as in the layouter. First I want to rescale the picture. I check gain to scale all dimensions simultaneously. Now I have to take care of the black background. I switch to other settings and change background to transparent. I go back to transform and here you see we also can do animations. So I first want to check here that I want to do an animation for the transform parameters. And now I use position X to place the picture on the right outside at the beginning. Now I go to another time position and create another keyframe where the picture is completely outside on the left and I reposition this keyframe to the end so that I have created just the same animation as before in the layouter. Next thing I have to do is to rescale the GPU effect here. I just 
stretch it to the complete length of the clip. And now I have my animation just like I did it with the layouter. And I think you can imagine it's very simple to scale this animation. I just have to scale the clip, rescale the animation I have just created. And you see, very simple to create a slower animation. Next thing I like to do is create a preset for this. I go to the information window and just drag and drop the modified transform effect back into the library window. A new preset is created and I name it slide right to left. So in the future I just can use this preset to recall my created animation. Of course this can be used for titles too. I create a new clip. Use the preset, place it at the beginning and you see my title is animated now. Of course there are several ways to improve those GPU animations. I just go back into the parameters by double clicking and now I want to create a keyframe here at the middle of the picture. Just create a new keyframe. I open the parameter and switch to this graphical view. I have to choose new values for minimal and maximal view. Now I go to this keyframe in the middle, right click and choose Bezier. I make this zero. Go to the first keyframe, choose Bezier. I make this zero too. And here I will use these two control points to create something like this. We'll just check it as animation. Very simple. I make a preset for that too, just by drag and drop. Slide right to left with break. Finally, I want to show you a small trick. You can use this preset to make some interesting title effects. For that, I will create some new video layers. I choose two more layers. Now I just duplicate this title track with drag and drop and control key. Of course, it's the same text at the moment, so I double click on the second title to re-edit the text. Just call it tricks, place it in the middle again. And now you have to choose auto save as. Now I create another one, drag and drop with control key. Double click on the title. Choose Auto Save As. At the moment, all titles are on the same vertical position. Of course, I want to change this too.
And as you can see on my machine, this is starting to stutter. I would have to render this for a smooth output. But I think you can see what I wanted to show you. With this, you can really create some interesting title animations. I show you a small modification. I make this clip shorter and this clip shorter too. And I now like to render this. And as I can always use this just created preset, creating such animations is really very simple. As some kind of outlook, I will go into the GPU effect parameters again. And I just want to show you that you have lightning options here too, which I don't have in the layouter. And those lightning options can also be animated with a separate timeline. And this lightning effect can be combined with a shadow. And in this case, this isn't just a drop shadow, but instead the shadow is really created by the light position. Maybe I just show this. We have here the word on screen training and you can see the shadow behind. I make it a little bit more visible. Now I go to my light, deselect flat light and change the light position. And you can see as I change the position of my light, my shadow moves accordingly. So here you can see the light effect on my text. As I'm moving over the text with my light source, and of course, such things can't be done with the layouter. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. And finally, my tip for you is to create a lot of preset animations for this GPU transform so that you can use those animations instantly when you need them in your projects.